Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you have a fantastic day. Today we're going back into Pokemon Legends Arceus. Alright, let's go. We got things to do. Gonna find a mythical Pokemon. Can you hear my voice? <clears throat> I hope my I am losing my voice, guys. It's so bad. <clears throat> oh man! All right, um, let's fly. Lola, I haven't really. It'd be really neat if I could find another shiny. I kind of don't like the shiny hunting in this, because I like I'm um, spending hours and hours finding a shiny, and this just seems too easy. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. The flying needs to be fixed a little bit because with um, Breath of the Wild it was so much more enjoyable to fly. Oh no. Hi! Here we are, Lake Aquiti. Aquiti. You know, I've been told it actually contains seawater as well. Nobody knows why though. It could be a fluke of geography. Or perhaps it's connected to a Pokemon somehow. Lake Okuti is protected by the Pokemon Uxie. Uxie. When Uxie took flight, the knowledge to solve problems was born in people's minds. That's what the stories say anyway. Your art phone is beeping. Here you go, Mr. Phone. Okay. A tool that can make caves simply appear from nowhere is quite a handy one to have. Let's go to Weeb. I imagine there may be a Pokemon in there protecting the lake's guardian. Take care. Here we go. Let's go. Now let's see what's waiting for us. Ah. I know you don't need to need to tell. Be careful. All right, Pokémon, what do we got here? Y'all doing good? Did I? Whoa. Did I hear my Pokémon? Yeah. Um I might use Luxray. Yeah. Hi! You okay there? Go Luxray! Man, mine looks so not cool <laughs> compared to that one. 58, 68, okay. Alright. I got this. Please don't kill him. I would like to catch him. Oh, I wanted to catch him. Luxray is just too powerful. Sorry, mythical Pokemon. I did not mean to do that. Knew you could do it, Dweeb. You feel a mysterious presence. Huh? Oh, how cute. Cool. Well, let's go talk to you. Hi. Come. I will test your knowledge. Okay. Humbee, Zubat, Uno, Magadon, Disclops. Uh-huh. How many are there eyes? How many are there eyes? Does Zubat have one? No, Zubat doesn't have eyes. Tell me each. One by one. Yeah, all at once. Answer me. Um, I'm ready to answer. Can you repeat that? Yeah. Combi? You want me to... S unknown. Unknown has one eye. Zubat has no eyes. Combi... 
That's two eyes, right? Magneton? Wait. Mm. Hold on, guys. I'm, I'm gonna cheat a little bit here. So, Combi has two eyes. Right? No. Six eyes. Unknown has one eye. Magneton. Has three eyes. Six. Seven. This clops. Has one eye. Yeah. So. Six. Seven. A nine, ten, eleven. Eleven? Tell me each one by one, yet yeah, all at once. Eleven. Did I get it wrong? Zubak doesn't have eyes. No? Okay, wait. Oh, do I have to spell it out? No. Okay, so... Let me look at Zubat. I know Zubat is not... Okay, hold on. Oh! So, they want me to tell it all together. Maybe? Oh, man. Okay. So, what did I say? Crumby was first, and he has six. Then Zubat with zero. Venom. Who else am I looking up? <laughs> Magneton, I think, right? No. Was it Magneton? No, it was Unknown. One. Then it was, um... Magneton, right? I have Dusclops and Magneton. Um... I'm gonna say Magneton and then Dusclops. Okay. Did I get it? I forgot that Crumby had so many eyes because it's. I, I forgot. <laughs> Take this piece of the spirit to buy. So I got it right, right? Okay. Yay! All right, cool. Who of you have to clean up? Nice. Just one more to go. Nice. That one was... I wasn't ready for that one. Just one more to go. Yep. All right. I'm done. Let's go. I assume all went well, Dweeb. I don't trust you. Still, I must wonder. Why don't they just give us the red chain? Why are this running about? I guess I can think of two reasons. To keep the chain safe and to test us. Yeah. Perhaps you are right. Who knows what would happen if it fell into the wrong hands, after all. He is evil. Though, having said that, isn't the red chain from mending the world? What use would some villain have for it? Who can say for sure? Maybe the red chain has some other use besides mending the world. You could well be right. I guess we'll have no way of knowing until we get the red chain for ourselves. So, shall we return to Mistress Kogita's house? Yeah, let's go back. Wonderful. Then we can see if Mistress Kogita has any more insights to share with us. Mm. Yeah, I got another one. See? So that Yuzi's claw, I sense a warmth, a warmth to it. The Pokemon of the lakes are strange. They seem to play on your mind somehow. Indeed. Yeah, we may want to add just a dash more speed. Things in Jubilife Village are tense. What makes you say so? It seems that Pokemon's been glimpsed on the other side of the rift. 
One of those Ginkgo Guild merchants informed me that Commander Camarado has raised a force not to survey the Pokemon, but to subdue it. Should their need arise? Oh no. One of those Ginkgo Guild merchants? You make it sound as if you're not one of them. Now, if, if a Pokemon truly were to appear from beyond the rift, what would become of everyone, I wonder? That settles it, Dweeb. There's no need, no time to lose. We got one material left to find for the red chain. Let's go get it. That's the spirit. I'll come watch this historic moment unfold too. Watch? Is that all you really do? Remember, once you've sought the third lake and found what's needed for the red chain, make for the shrouded ruins. Okay. Alright. Let's go. Is my Pokemon okay? Yeah. Let's go. I'm ready, dude. My kitty cat's making noise. Do, 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 do. All right. Where are we going? This way. This area is where I found most of my um shiny Pokemon. Ah! Guys, did you see me? Did you see me, guys? Hi. Do you know about Lake Valor? It's said to have been formed by a volcano eruption, much like Lake Verity. Though there are also other theories that say it was carved out in the midst of the Pokemon battle. This lake is protected by the Pokemon Azel. When Azel took flight, the will to do what needs doing was born in people's hearts. Well, that's what is legend. Uh, that is what legend would have us believe. Ah, my phone's ringing. Hmm. Hello? Ah, a cave appears where there were none. He's so excited about that. If we, in we go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Am I? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what we're up against. Okay. Oh. Okay, I got it. Man, I want to catch you. I'm gonna use my Luxray still. Let's go. Luxray was my first shiny that I caught in this game. Alright, come on. Go, Luxray. Ding ding ding. Alright, um. Calm down. You don't need to do that. Well... Let's do this. And he's paralyzed. Good. But... I might lose Luxray. How about we try to catch him? Yeah, let's use this. One. Yay, I caught him. Awesome. Oh, good. Can you evolve yet? I would really like you to evolve. Ugh. That's my dweeb. You feel a mysterious presence. Oh, he's so cute. Goon. Show to me, unyielding will. Strike me, if you can. Oh, am I fighting you? What? Oh. Did those bombs just appear? Oh, I'm not good at this.
Did I hit you? Oh. You seem to hear a voice inside your head. Will you abandon this folly? I'm not through yet. No. You just gave me three chances. Ah, come on. You seem to hear a voice inside your head. It seems you had best give up. Will you continue regardless? I'm not through. Calm down. Hey, I hit you. I hit him. You see that? I hit him. Hmm. You seem to hear a voice in your head. Give up. You struggle in vain. Will you yet press on? I'm not through yet. Hey, did I hit you? Oh, you let me. He let me win. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. <clears throat> he let me win, guys. That's so unfair. <sighs> I'm not satisfied with this one. Put that. Yeah, okay. Bye. Looks like our lake's journey is complete. All right, come on, dude. You were no help at all. Wait. Come on. We gotta go. We got things we gotta do. <coughs> My voice is going bye bye. <coughs> it seems, it seems we've finished the three lakes. Yeah, if I remember correctly, we were told to then head to the Shadow Ruins. I don't know what could await us there, but I'm always excited to explore some ancient ruins. Let us be on our way. Oh yeah, this place. It's the Shadow Ruins. Mist is it's so very good at observing things. It's long been said to blow boundaries. <coughs> If we were to, if we were to somehow bring together the world of humans, the world of Pokemon, and the world of myth, then maybe we need a setting such as this. That being said, what are we meant to do now? Seems I've made it in time. Showing up only when the time's right, huh? With age comes wisdom, I guess. I had the aid of a rather remarkable Pokemon, if you really wish to know. Right, but how do we make this red chain? I would hardly know. We speak of a divine instrument, one said to be capable of binding the very world. Do you really imagine it can be forced by mortal hands? Then what are we doing here? We don't have any more time to waste. The Pokemon of the Lakes. There it is. Oh, that was easy. So now what do I do? So it was true. The pact our people have passed down for all these generations have been kept. At last, I can set this burden aside. You've succeeded once again, Dweeb. Yet, things do not seem to be going so well for the rest of the world. 
What's that supposed to mean? I've had some news from the fellow merchants in the Ginkgo Guild. It seems that the commander is going to forego waiting for our investigation to finish. He plans to climb Mount Cornet himself. What's he thinking? Even if he makes it up there, what can he do against a giant rift in space-time? Well, he doesn't yet know that our dweeb has managed to get the red chain. Now does he? That's right. We've got to let him know that it'll be alright now that we have the red chain. Even the commander should see reason then. No. No, he won't. Are we going back to the village? What? Hi. Huh. <laughs> Bye. Wait, Dweeb, it's you. I can't believe I just let you pass right by. Thank goodness you're still alive. I mean, of course you are. I know you'd be alright. Wait, one second. I'll go let the captain and the professor know you're back. Oh my dear Dweeb. Professor, I know you've been worried about Dweeb, but there's no need to cry. I'm not crying. Do not mock your elders. If you please, Ray. Sniffle. And besides, weren't you the one who couldn't get a wink of sleep from all the worrying over our friend? You didn't have to tell her that. <laughs> Just ignore him, Dweeb. Anyway, where's Captain Selene? Wasn't she coming with you, Professor? She's buried under a mound of work, I'm afraid. We'll, we'll to join her in the Survey Cup's office. Full now that Commander Komodo. The Commander... He's not here. Well, he set out for Mount Cornet with the security cups in tow. He's determined to handle this whole space-time roof business himself. Oh, man. And since I'm such a fine fellow, I took over watching the gate, okay? Yeah, we don't have time to talk about the gate and how fine a fellow you are. <laughs> Hi, Celine. So, you managed not to die. Just as I ordered. Well done. <laughs> Thanks to you, Captain. I have no idea what you're implying. All I know is that Abra vanished of its own accord, inconveniencing me greatly. <laughs> Before moving forward, I must ask. I assume that you are here again because you've managed to learn something of use? <coughs> I got... I visited... I got this red chain. Go on. You explain about the red chain. A legendary tool said to bind the very world. Commander Komodo is no longer in here. Okay, the security cops have been scouting the area near the space-time rift and they reported signings of something on the other side. Something that resembles a Pokemon. The commander made the decision to take the security cops to the mountain. To fend off any possible threat. They were to make the temple at the peak. The boss may be tough, but it still seems like a bad idea to do something so risky without Dweeb's help. Yes, because everybody needs a kid to help. <laughs> as the captain of the Survey Cups, I hereby order you to proceed as follows. Dweeb, take the red chain to Mount Cornet, make your way to the peak, and put an end to all of this. You are officially reinstated as your former rank. Yay, I'm back. Are you sure, Captain? The boss isn't around to approve that. If he didn't wish me to decide things in his place, then he should not have left me in charge. Nice. Then I'll go as well. We're all in it together. We're members of the survey corps. Naturally, no one suggested you should not. <laughs> well, here we go. Alrighty, guys. So that was more Pokemon Legends. And I have a feeling we're getting close to the ending. So look forward to that. And if you're new, please like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. Thank you so much for watching. You have a great day or night. Bye-bye.